you doing? I'm back with another video and this time around I'm going to talk about what products I use on my locks. And this video may be kind of over long overdue. First things first, um, let's start off in the order of how I do things for when I'm prepping for my hair. So this is Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap. This is my second bottle of using this stuff. And I use this on my, on my hair, my body. Um, and yeah, just about just my hair and body. Um, and, what, and for you guys that know that buy this stuff, you know that a little bit goes a long way. And however, I use this... Um, because I've seen other locks, I've seen them like, this is about, I want to say nine months ago, they were using this, and some people, they get other scents. I like peppermint, and I like the way it smells, and I also like the way that it makes my, my scalp feels, and my skin, it gives like a tingling sensation, and stuff, and I love that. So, I like this only because it does get my hair clean. It really does. However, it is drying to my scalp, and my hair, and my skin. But that's why I follow up with a moisturizing shampoo right after that. This is a that's why this works really well. It moisturizes moisturizes my hair really well. And since I don't use conditioner in my hair, this works and this it acts as a conditioner for my hair. And it's really soft, moisturizing. It smells good. It's 100% natural. Um, it's urban hydration. Of course, avocado oil. Um, argan oil, coconut oil, um, glycerin, ginger, essential essential oil, pro vitamin B5, and aloe leaf. And this is really moisturizing to my hair and counter effect with this because this is drying to my hair. Oil. Um, I used to use coconut oil on my hair. However, I just haven't bought any more and stuff. Like, I use coconut oil, like, all the time. Even when I was a loose natural. I use coconut oil even when I first started my locks. But however, as of now, I use pure grapeseed oil. This is 100% natural. Um, got this out the, of course, the oil, cooking oil aisle from Walmart or whatever. And I use this as a mixture for my scalp. And this is the mixing bottle that I use um, and stuff. I also use sunflower and sunflower oil and avocado oil. I just started using this. So I really don't necessarily see a whole big difference. I just wanted to try it because I needed something to mix in with this oil. I use castor oil. I use up the rest of it. However, I ran out of that so I need to go get some more, especially since it's getting colder. My hair really loves castor oil, like my scalp loves it too. So ever since I stopped using it, my hair does feel a little bit more drier. And it's not because of the dye, because my hair was dyed when I was using it. However, I just have to get some more, so it is what it is. Um, also, in this mixture, I have castor oil, peppermint oil, grapeseed oil, and this oil right here. So I just take this and I just put it throughout my scalp. And also pour some of my hands and just rub it together and just put it on my hair shaft. And I just keep it moving like that. So that's pretty much what I do. This is like my daily spray. So any other day, like today, I spray this. Either I spray it before I get in the shower or I spray it after. It really doesn't matter to me as long as I spray my hair and it's not feeling dry. And then I go in with a little bit of oil for that morning. All this is is just a little bit of oil. So whatever oil I have in here at the time... I just put a little bit of this if I'm refilling it, aloe vera juice, and peppermint oil. And I just spray this in my hair and I just keep it moving. I did use it one time, which is the reason why it's in this video. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I don't hate it. Would I use it again? Yeah, but I wouldn't put it, actually put it in a staple of what I use day to day on my hair. I mean, if I'm really needing like the extra moisture at that time, and it may come since it's getting colder then I will use this. However, I'll just keep using this moisturizing shampoo right here. But it's Argan Care. Um, also has coconut and argan oil in it. So 
pretty much stuff that I use um, or you have used and whatnot. So hair dye. This is one of the hair dyes that I do have in my hair. This is a brand new box. I bought two thinking I was going to need two and stuff. So I just decided not to take this back. Just in case I wanted to dye my hair again, which I will in the future. I would not personally dye my own locks because I cannot see what I'm doing. I use this personally because my aunt uses this. And she's been locked for almost 10 years now. I believe she has been locked for 10 years. The color that's in the back is this. But I didn't leave it on for I also did an apple cider vinegar rinse with the Bragg's um, apple cider vinegar. I love that. It's about time that I should do another one for it. It would look nice if my hair can have like some type of shine to it and whatnot. But if it doesn't, that's perfectly fine. If you guys use anything that's different or you may have a suggestion, just leave them down in the comment section below and we can like talk down there. If you guys have anything for like itchy scalp and stuff, like let me know. Like I know I hope you guys are enjoying your October and I look forward to talking with you guys below or follow you guys on social media that's it that's all I gotta say not too much but thank you guys for watching